Hello, I'm Sister Robbie Pentecost. I am a Franciscan sister uh, from Oldenburg, Indiana. Uh, and today I'm in Rome, Italy, and have just been uh, attending a conference on spirituality and sustainability uh, here in Rome as well as in Assisi. Uh, and the trip to Assisi was very, very important to me because as a Franciscan, the connection uh, to be with Francis and Claire was so important. It was just to touch, to touch where they have been, to walk the paths that they walked, to see the beauty uh, of the land around them, and to to really get that connection to what influenced them, what inspired them, um, was so significant, and it added to the conversation on sustainability and spirituality. Uh, as a sister, um, it certainly spirituality plays a key role for us, that our values are shaped by um, our relationship with God. And so being rooted in that relationship with, with a God who loves, a God who's compassionate, um, certainly influences my ministry and roles in the world. And I'm also really excited. I think uh, there's a convergence going on for my own life uh, in terms of women and the global connection and women's voices and the impact that they can have on and the leadership through their leadership in terms of uh, really creating a change for our, for our earth. Uh, our earth is in trouble and we as uh, leadership, people in leadership, people in all kinds of roles need to stand up and start changing our lives, really responding uh, to the compassion that's been shown by, by God to us in creation. And so being here has helped um, maybe expand or, or, or support or encourage my, my resolve in this matter uh, to really link it to my spirituality, my Franciscan spirituality with Francis and Claire. A lot of that involves the whole concept of peacemaking, uh, that all creation is one. Uh, we have Sister Moon and uh, our brother, brother, son, Sister Moon. Uh, Francis talked with the birds, with the animals, and really saw the, the images of God in all creation and has passed that on to us and called us and is calling us today particularly to respond. Um, and it also kind of sets a moment because I think my path um, for these 55 years that I've been on earth have come along the way with women and women's voices and really being a um, maybe someone who can inspire women to speak, uh, encourage women. And today I find myself um, a Two months ago, I was uh, accepted into a fellowship with the Center for Women, Faith, and Leadership, uh, which is part of a, uh, an organization called the Institute for Global Engagement. So again, I find myself uh, in a global environment. I mean, this conference on spiritual, spirituality and sustainability was global. I mean, there are people from all over the world, and the same with the fellowship, people from all over the world. And it really makes a difference to know that it's not just you and your little local place, although that's very important, uh, but, it, but it's also connecting with those who are elsewhere across our globe, because only then can we really work uh, for a holistic sense of, uh, of earth healing. And I think, you know, as a woman, uh, there's much evidence that women have an important role in society. And we haven't always, uh, either in, in our spiritual uh, settings or in, you know, our civic settings, have had a voice that can uh, make resolve. And I think it's time for women to let their voices be heard. It's time for women to take leadership roles. Uh, just recently I was at the State Department with uh, this fellowship of women from around the world and it was interesting as we were talking about the global problems that the State Department addresses in the United States, how they were, you could tell they were getting kind of just 
blown away at the knowledge and the uh, ideas, the solutions that were being presented. And they, they finally said to us, you know, we often deal with spiritual leaders or leaders that are of churches and uh, religions, but it's usually men. And they, they said, we see a major role and we need to start identifying women who also can be leaders in their faith um, and their spirituality to, and, and sit with them, involve them in developing the solutions that our world so much needs today, both in terms of peace and security, which is so linked to environmental issues. Um, so I think, uh, for me, the voices of women have always been a uh, role. And I think for Francis and Claire, for Francis, he saw that Claire was an important uh, piece to his path and his journey. And she played a role in, in the church, in the Catholic Church, in such a vibrant way uh, by being persistent and being uh, totally, totally dedicated to her vision of what God had given her. And eventually won out, won over the Pope at the t in her time. And I think that's what we're all called to do, is to stand um, with our voices in, in deep commitment, deep persistence uh, with one another, and with our religious leaders as well. But we're all religious leaders, and I think you know, the more and more that we we speak out, we begin to um, realize that our voice is important and that it's not just those that are in a position of authority, but rather, um, you know, that we all have leadership. Uh, when I think about people who lead, it's people who lead because they inspire people, not because of a position. Francis didn't hold a position except founder, but only after he died did he really realize, I mean, I, did we begin to realize uh, the importance. And some of the things that he really wanted to happen in the Franciscan order didn't because other forms of, uh, or other people came with other ideas. And perhaps they were more about, uh, about leadership from a position rather than from inspiration and, and really living what you, what you really believe and what you say you believe in. Um, so I think uh, Francis and Claire have played a significant piece for me. Uh, it's my first time to Rome and to Assisi, and uh, it's just really important, and it just really, I have a lot to digest in terms of how, I mean, the, the fact that I came, such a wealth of information, such a wealth of experience, people from around the world, and what that means for my future and, and work. Um, it's going to take a little while to digest all of that, uh, but we have to get going and we have to start running the race because we have, um, we have an important mission. And uh, our mission is to, to really uh, kind of honor Earth. And right now Earth is hurting, and so it's time for us to heal uh, our mother.